Detroit. A Craigslist scammer targets a teen in Romeo. The dirty deal cost the teen thousands of dollars. And tonight he's warning others. Simon Shakehead exposed the scam and shows us how you can help. And he joins us from Romeo to kick off tonight's Top 10 at 10. At just 17 years old, he's become the most recent victim of a horrible Craigslist scam, one that cost him his entire life savings and his only mode of transportation. 17-year-old Micah Sabat is beaming with joy, sitting inside a 2006 Chevy Trailblazer he spent the last few years saving for. This SUV is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of hard work. Micah has been a McDonald's employee all through high school, and that's not all. I had been dog sitting, lawn mowing, snow blowing. I've worked really hard for this, and I was excited to have something I was proud of. But someone has since robbed Micah of his smile, the same person whose ad he answered on Craigslist. He was bald, he had a beard, but he didn't look necessarily sketchy. Turns out the four grand in cash he paid was all part of an elaborate scam. You see, when he met up with the supposed owner of the SUV in Redford last Sunday, Micah closely examined a license, a title, even the VIN number. But the next day came the bad news at the Secretary of State. They told me that this title had been um, a title that was stolen. Micah's mom is devastated for her son. They gave the SUV back to police who are returning it to the original owner. And they told Micah, You'll never see your money again and you'll never have that car. He knows now meeting a car seller at a police station or Secretary of State is much safer. Micah is back to saving up for a car and still asking the question that's haunted the teen from Romeo all week. Why would you want to do that to a kid, you know? I believe your mother must be ashamed of you. I'm not ashamed of my son, but I bet your mom's ashamed of you right now. Micah only has about $300 in his GoFundMe account right now, and he definitely could use some help. If you would like to donate, just go to our website, WXYZ.com. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.